what is up you guys so today i'm gonna try to start vlogging so you guys can see what's going on in my day-to-day -day world but something that i am really excited to announce is that i was actually talking with my mom and if you guys don't know my mom is like my manager kind of um she definitely helps me secure stuff she helps me plan things she helps me with everything regarding like my work workload workload and orders and all that stuff so i decided that i wanted to start not a segment on my channel but i wanted to start something cool like brunch uh a business brunch with myself and my subscribers or um you know people who just want to network with me and basically how it'll work is well of course you guys well some of you guys may know but some of you guys may not know i do live in chicago so this is mainly for chicago only so basically i would pick someone or whoever reaches out to me and we would go to lunch together we can either go to lunch or have like uh drinks or go sit at the bar and basically it'll be filmed so you guys have to be open to being in front of a camera and basically it'll be filmed and we'll just go over business topics we'll go over you know uh what's going on with my business with your business um which is just business ideas we'll just bounce business ideas off of each other we'll just kind of literally have a conversation it'll be recorded like i said uh, so i'm really excited i'll be dropping some stuff on my instagram so make sure you're following me on instagram if this is potentially something that you want to do and um like i said you'll be able to come on to my channel we'll have business related conversations we'll go over some things with your business we'll talk about some things with my business how i got to where i am how you got to where you are um it's literally a free meal on me of course and i think that'll be a super awesome way because for one i want to help a lot of you guys that have businesses i want to see your businesses grow uh, i'm also still growing my business as well and i feel as though this would be an awesome way to get a lot of insight for my subscribers but not just speaking on my business they'll also be able to relate to you guys and you know some of the weaknesses and strengths that you're going through with your business but i really do think this is going to be awesome so like i said i'll be posting some stuff on instagram um to find some of the people who are interested in doing this and yeah every week i want to go on a business brunch with someone for one it'll be an awesome way to network for you guys networking with me and then me of course networking with you guys the only requirements that i have for this for um for this brunch is one i would be picking the location where we decide to sit and either eat or have drinks just for security purposes and then two you guys have to have an ex established business uh, i i really only want currently i only want to open the door up to people who have businesses or have been in business for a little bit just so we can of course have things something to relate to it doesn't have to be the beauty industry you can have a boutique you can be in the beauty industry you can of course have a cosmetic line you can have a t-shirt line whatever you do because at the end of the day when it does come to running a business it's kind of all the same it's really all the same you do all the same stuff ultimately um so i think that'll be super awesome i've got my little dude over there he's chilling took his little nap i guess you can call it um but yeah i have to do some things today i have to take him to a doctor's appointment today so you guys will come with me with him but yeah like if but like i said if you guys are interested in that send me an email Sit, write, uh, send me a message on instagram dm me and uh, we can get something going but the thing is you have to either come to chicago or you have to live in chicago i will not be traveling outside of chicago or illinois to um you know have brunch brunches i'd rather you guys come to me because it's a little more convenient but yeah last night was crazy for me because i had a lot of work to do i had so many orders i was literally backed up on orders um i did have a sale recently for my sample kits where i sold my sample kits for ten dollars i just wanted to i did it more so as an experiment 
um, to see would people catch catch on to it or not and the experiment succeeded I did not expect to sell that many sample kits I sold quite a few quite a few so uh, last night I had to get everything together I had to get together I had to print off all my shipping labels and yeah it's definitely difficult having a little dude and trying to get everything done for your business uh as you guys know he's been here he's a month and let's 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 see the exact date he's a month and three days old so it's definitely been an adjustment because my business has not stopped and for you guys that don't know i am pretty much the the main employee for my business just because i like it that way just because it's easy because i work from home things like that uh, so it's just a lot a little easier for me to just do it versus having people in and out of here i do have help when i necessarily need it um but something that i am looking towards i do want to get a, a, a actual assistant i did have someone that was taking care of emails and things like that at one point but i personally need someone that i can count on to get x y and z done so that i'm not over exerting myself especially with a newborn because he's so unpredictable and right now of course since he's so little i can't necessarily put him on a schedule or anything like that so when he starts crying or he needs something work the work my work stops everything's at a halt until i get him under control i figure out what's wrong with him and then and then that's when of course i would come back and start working and that's not necessarily the best thing to do but yeah this is all that's going on uh some people wanted to know how my schedule is having a baby and uh, i had to figure like trial and error i had to figure out what worked. i had to figure out what didn't work so something that does work for me is uh typically he gets up around like 6 15 6 30 um and then once he when he starts crying and he's ready to get up so basically what i do is i basically uh you know rock him back to sleep and he goes back to sleep for maybe like 30 additional minutes uh for about 30 additional minutes and then uh that's basically when i get up so i get up about seven i give him another bottle i you know give him a bottle change him and then he ends up falling back to sleep and then while he sleep that's when i get things done so i typically get things done in the morning time so he sleeps for like maybe an hour two hours and that's when i go into my office and i go ahead and get orders ready i go ahead and get uh, labels printed if i need to respond back to some emails that's when i'll take care of that and then in the midst of doing that i'm getting myself ready for the day because if i don't get myself ready for the day i'll <laughs> I won't have time literally i will not have time um i keep saying um i don't know why it's just natural habit so i do apologize for those of you who it could be annoying to but yeah so right now i'm actually dressed it is 9 18 i filmed a video already so i'm gonna go ahead and try to start editing that video and see where the day takes us he should be waking up maybe within the next like 30 35 minutes with another bottle so i'll make sure i get him a bottle prepped but that's really it i'm literally sitting here with my sweater on it's kind of like a sweater kind of and then i have some shorts on but then in a little bit i'll have to go ahead and put on some i'll just probably throw on some leggings and take him because it's still kind of chilly in chicago but I'll probably just throw on some leggings so I can take him to the doctors because like I said I got myself ready earlier and then I'll just have to focus on getting him ready leaving the house with a newborn is nuts okay <laughs> it is nuts you just need so much stuff you have to make sure you have everything ah, just to go even down the street literally quick fun quick story before I ramble you guys ears off me and my mom live like 50 feet away from each other literally like she lives like next door to me basically next door to me so like whenever i'm going to her, her house and i'm of course like i bring him with me literally i'm 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 going next door basically so you would think that i wouldn't have to bring so much stuff with me but literally it's so much stuff it's so many diapers i have to bring sure i have diapers wipes um a nose frida 
all type of stuff just to make sure that he is okay. I have to make sure I have the formula, the water, the bottles, the pacifiers, so much. <laughs> and, and it's hilarious because I have like his car seat and then I have like this big backpack like hooked to me. It's so different because for so long, I, it was always just me. I was just always just focused on me and now having this little one with me it's it's an amazing feeling but it's just so much luggage that <laughs> comes with it but that's the perks of being a mommy i guess okay i unfortunately don't sell uh i don't have an indian haired vendor to sell i mainly just sell the chinese vendors were you interested in them at all Some of them, you can reach out to them and see if they do sell Indian hair, but typically they just sell the Chinese hair. That's all I'm aware of. So they sell like the Brazilian, Malaysians, Peruvians, things, things of the, um, those type of textures or origins rather. Okay, so what I want you to do is since you want to go ahead and order that replay, I want you to head over to amanijelina.co and uh, it'll be... It'll be in, in the replay section of that of my website. No problem. And if you do have any other questions, feel free to give me a call. Okay, you have a good one. Bye-bye. So, yeah. So, <laughs> this is what it's like being a mom. He is, he's right here. I'm holding him. But this is what it's like working home working from home with a newborn basically um because i have my lunch here so i'll be eating soon but right now i'm just gonna go ahead and feed him so if you guys are some mommies out there and you're interested in some bottles i do recommend the dr brown bottles these bottles are amazing what are you talking about hey. these bottles are super amazing let me go ahead and get his food going Hey, cuteness. If you guys are wondering what I'm doing, I'm basically just um, making his bottle. so he should, I should be putting him down soon with the newborn what I noticed is he literally just eats <laughs> poops and sleep so literally after this I'll, I'm sure I'm gonna have to change his diaper and then and then I'm basically going to put him back in his swing because he loves his swing. So if you guys do have a newborn or just a baby in general, get a swing because it is a lifesaver. I'm able to get work done because I do have uh, a swing. So after I'm done feeding him, I'm just going to go ahead and eat my breakfast, I guess. <laughs> I don't really have time to make food. So I'm basically just going to eat a Lunchable and a juice box right hopefully soon uh well soon i will be starting a diet not necessarily a diet i will be starting a diet because i do want to at least well i want to surpass my start weight and uh after i had him i basically gained like 12 pounds so i basically 
want to get those 12 pounds off but then aside from that i want to lose maybe like 35 40 pounds so I, I want to start my weight loss journey so if you guys are interested in heading to the gym with me and things like that let me know in the comment section uh just say yes or no <laughs> and i'll know what you guys are definitely talking about when i tell you this boy eats like he eats he goes to the doctor today so i'm definitely and anxious to see how much he weighs because he like drinks so much milk and I asked the doctors I was like do I just give him uh do I just give him the two the the three the four ounces and the doc my his doctor basically just told me give him what he wants he's a growing baby right now so if he wants it, just give it to him. So that's what I've been doing. And when I tell you this little dude is growing trip like so quickly, it's ridiculous. It's crazy. <laughs> I have family members that was at the hospital when he was born and they didn't see and they didn't see him till recently and they're like, oh my gosh, he is so big. And it's true. He's not like chubby chubby but he's so long and just like he's he's not he's growing in length and like weight basically i still can't pinpoint who exactly he looks like me or his dad but it's super awesome being a mom one thing i can't say it's really awesome so he is back in his swing we just got done feeding and now I'm going to try to eat some food really quickly. And literally what I'm eating is, this is my, I am a child <laughs> when it comes to, I like to eat like a child for some reason. So I'm basically, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and have this nacho cheese dip and salsa lunchable with this Minute Made fruit punch, fruit punch juice box. And while I'm eating, I'm going to go ahead and get this newsletter sent out. This is really good. Either I'm like starving right now or this lunch will taste better than all the other ones but now it's very important that you guys join my newsletter because i send out free tips and tricks not only do you guys get to see the tips and tricks that i give you in my videos but uh if you are signed up to my newsletter you will get free tricks to promoting your business and things like that so that's basically what i'm doing now i'm basically going to send out a newsletter so what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna continue to eat my food and create this newsletter My breakfast was fire now i was able to also send out a newsletter so don't forget to sign up to my newsletter in case you want you know to see some of those free solutions that i have for you guys but now i basically need to start editing so that i can have a video be up by this evening sometime so hopefully i'll edit 
so typically uh when i'm editing videos it should it should go by super quickly just because lately i've I haven't been critical on myself as far as like the editing and things like that um so the video that i that i recorded this morning this is the video that i'm currently about to go ahead and edit so by the time this vlog goes up that video will already be up so go ahead and check that video out it's all about uh getting grants for your business so if you're in a financial bind maybe and you don't have tons of money to put towards your business that is a video that you want to check out in case you want to go down the method of applying for a grant and for those of you who don't know this is an old video here but those of you who don't know i use the software final cut pro in case you guys are wondering what editing system that i use so basically i'm just gonna sit here hey y'all <laughs> I'm basically just going to sit here and edit this video. Say hey, YouTubers. So hopefully he's not fussy because the last time we went to the doctor, it was a nightmare. Okay. So we'll see how this goes. So Journey's appointment went really well. He is doing amazing. He's in the car with my mom because I had some paperwork that I had to fill out last minute, but everything is all set. And I don't have to, well, we don't have to come back until his two, two month mark. And that's when he'll get his vaccines and all of that stuff. So, yep. So I'm officially back home. That's my boyfriend, you guys here, but I'm officially back home. Doctor's office went super well. Journey was super awesome. If you guys haven't, go ahead and check out how to get a business grant and jumpstart your business. I'll leave it like tagged above this video somewhere. But yeah, I'm just literally smoking hookah now. I just uploaded going through some comments, talking to you guys. <laughs> Like if you guys work from home or if you guys have a, like an office space or if you guys just have a business in general i personally recommend you guys to invest in some sort of like organizer this was one of the bins that i was using to store hair in at one point but that wasn't working out how i wanted it to so i ended up switching it and just putting it over here to hold a lot of my things that i need what i do for one i'm a mentor so that i deal with a lot of paperwork and things like that and then also i own allure 96 which is the hair company so if you need some hair head over to allure 96 shameless plug <laughs> but head over to allure 96 and get you some bundles but long story short i deal with a lot a lot a lot a lot of paperwork so i had to get super organized just to keep all of my invoices keep all of my youtube stuff keep all of my webinar stuff and things like that so I was able to get this organized yesterday. I wish I would have recorded it because it was actually kind of fun. I was jamming out to my music, getting organized over here, but something that I do strongly recommend for other business owners out there, get something like this to be able to hold all of your documents, hold all of your supplies for your business, uh, especially because I sit at this desk a lot of hours out of the day typically, and I need things right, like super accessible. So. This definitely works out works out super well for, for me. And then I have some organizers up top, some folders, tons of folders, tons of notebooks with crucial and critical critical information in it that I need. So that's just a quick little tip for those of you who, you know, need to get a little organized. So right now I'm just going through some comments. You guys are always so sweet and so nice. I definitely try to uh, look through these. Every time I upload a video, I always go back and respond back to some or most of the comments from my last video. It's, it's a little difficult trying to get back to everyone because of course I have emails that I have to respond back to. I have comments, I have DMs, things like that. But when I do get the time to sit through and go through comments and stuff, you guys make me so happy so keep up the great work keep commenting i love interacting with you guys and yeah 
and shout out to all the people who wish me happy mother's day it was great